G'day guys, Flint here from Backyard Blasters. In today's video, I'm giving, I'm doing a review on the primary gel ball blaster that I use in gel ball blaster fights or battles or gel soft games. This is a G36C. It's made by a brand called Wells, Chinese brand, but they make, it's very, very well made. It's, it's very, very solid plastic and out of performance, out of the box performance is really good which is why I went for this one and I am so glad that I did because it, it was, it's been fantastic. Now I think there is a second version of this now, a V2, which is slightly, it's been tweaked a bit. It might be slightly bit more powerful, but even this version, uh, people are surprised by its performance and it, it is good. It, it hits close around the 240, 250 FPS range uh, would be, is, it, is it, that's around its uh, FPS. So I'll quickly tell you a little bit about its history. It's a 5.56 by 45 millimeter assault rifle designed in the early 1990s by Heckler and Koch, H and K, uh, in Germany as a replacement for the heavier 7.62 millimeter G3 battle rifle, and it was accepted into service with the Bundeswehr. Bundeswehr, I think that's how it's pronounced in 1997 replacing the G3. G36 is gas operated and feeds from a 30 round detachable box magazine or 100 round C mag drum magazine. So that's what this blaster is based off, the G36 uh, C. So that's a little bit of history about the, the gun that it's based off. So this is electric. It is only electric. There's no manual. You can't change and use the um, use a slide or uh, manually loaded or anything so it's electric but it has semi-automatic fully automatic and um, safety so you can those are those three features there's no burst fire or anything um, so it's got a gray and blue color scheme I quite like the color scheme I think the v2 version you can even you can get it in clear as well so it's I think it's what looks to be one-to-one -one scale. It certainly feels that way. It's very comfortable. It's got a bit of weight to it, but that's because it is made from some very, very good plastic. Um, the magazine here is removable here, and unlike quite a few of the um, gel ball blasters that are um, around today and used by a lot of gel ball blaster players, they have electric uh, magazines. There is, this doesn't. This is actually just spring operated. But I like these more a bit more than the electric ones because they're they're more reliable. I think because that that you know that it's going to work, and you don't have to charge any batteries in this. Actually, I don't think the magazines have batteries in them. They just they they're electric. They're operated. They take power from the battery in the blaster and use it to um, feed the gel balls. Whereas this is just um, no electrical components. It has a little wheel down the bottom and this bit is pressed each time the gun the trigger is pulled and that feeds another um, gel ball into the chamber and not just when you pull the trigger if you hold the trigger down it will also cycle that if you're in the full auto mode magazine yeah it's great and you, if you actually get two of these because I, I actually have I actually had a second one of these at one point you can actually clip the mags together and you can have one facing the other way and you can flip them around and that's what those clips on there are for I'm not quite going in the order that I usually go in. I need let's let's go from front to back. So at the front, you've got the muzzle here, and this is actually removable. So there's these things uh, in gel ball, uh, in gel soft called um, hoppers, just like you have in airsoft. And the way they work is you usually attach them to the end, and you can buy them online, different types of hoppers, and that just puts more spin on the um, gel ball, so you can change the way your gel balls are flying whether you want them to go further or, or um, so that's mainly what I think that's why that feature's there, to be able to remove it. That also helps for packing the blaster down so you don't have, so it's not as long. There's a sling under here, tactical, or there's rails here, where you could put tactical accessories on. Uh, underneath here, this is where your battery goes, which you take out like so, and it clips in there. Here's a quick look at the battery, it is, a 1200 milliamp 7.4 volt lithium battery and it also comes with a charger which plugs into USB 
and it it lasts for ages. I've never had a I've never had the battery run flat on me. I've used it like in a few games at a time, and I haven't had to recharge it. So the battery's been great. Um, then you got up here, you got the rail, like a top rail. It's also a carry handle, but you've got a front iron sight there, a rear iron sight which flips up and has a smaller hole or a bigger hole. Um, here is like a. This I don't think actually does anything but move that that door there. Which if we take the mag out, uh, yeah, it doesn't doesn't do much that I'm aware of because it doesn't prime anything. It's just I don't know why they put it there. I think they put it there for fun, but but this door will will slide back. But there's just a blue case there, which is where your plunger would be. So you've got that lever there, which is just for fun, I think, just for aesthetic purposes. Got your switch, safety, semi, fully, a sling point on this side here, then you've got your stock, got the hand grip, the trigger, trigger guard, magazine release, the magazine, the mag well, and so that'll operate. All the moving parts work fine. The other moving part, which is really cool, of course, is the stock. That just slides around and clicks on like that. And then you can, oh man, two of these at once. I mean, it's quite a bit of weight, but two of these at once. You can dual wield, or you can run around like doo -doo 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 -doo. Nah. <laughs> um, I'd do that in a few games. It's quite fun. Turn it, you know, that's great for hip fire or close quarter. So the stock folds away like that and it locks into place at the back here. Now there, there is a cap at the back here. I've lost it, but it, would sit in here and then you could take it out if you needed to change a spring so you wouldn't even have to undo the whole blaster you just take the cap out put a new spring in and away you go now the caps fallen out when I was shooting it like this so the cap you need to really secure in place but um, I've just got sticky tape there now but in there you can easily change out and put a new spring in so the tape is just there um, in place of that plastic piece and this stock locks up into there, and then when you unlock it, it moves that down. On the other side, well this clip here is what holds part of the stock when you fold it. You've also got the trigger switch, uh, the, the select fire on this side, which is good for ambidextrous people. As it, well, it's, it means the blaster is ambidextrous, you can use it for left or right handed people. Um, that metal piece there, there's no, there's no um, bit there, uh, sling point on this side. And this is the hinge there where that shoulder stock moves. Now, I'm aware that Wells have made an M16, I think, or an M4, and I haven't got it yet, but that, but on the based on the quality of this, Wells is the way to go. Um, from the knowledge I have, because I haven't tried to, I haven't, tried very little of all the um, assault rifle jobber blasters that are out there but from the ones I've seen at gameplay this is the quality of the wells are leaps ahead of these other brands they're seriously really well made so I would um, I highly recommend the wells G36 and they've also got an M4 which I think is belt well very much the same so I think I've talked about everything I can guys, that's it for today's video, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.